Hey guys, it's Cody from Python's Gone Postal. Uh, this is going to be a little debatable topic today. Um, I've been talking to a few people about the genetic stripe and how to detect it when it's in its heterozygous form, uh, meaning you don't see the genetic stripe, but it's 100% head for uh, genetic stripe. Now, there are some people out there that will say the recessives are recessives, you can't detect them when they're in their head form, but Hep pod is probably one of the easiest ones to see, the train tracking that goes along the tail. This is not a hep pod, but the train tracking sometimes is seen right here, right near the cloaca. Um, I don't have any hep pod stuff or else I'd happily show you guys, but what I'm getting at is in the hep form, they can be seen. You can detect hep sometimes if you know what you're looking for. So the only recessive project that I'm really into right now is the genetic stripe. Um, I started dabbling in clown. I haven't produced anything. I just want to show you the biggest thing that I've seen with the genetic stripes. So if you guys produce possible hets, you can say this one's got a good chance of being a het for genetic stripe. I'm going to take this one and hopefully you'll have a lot of success. So without further ado, I want to show you a yearling this is his daughter, and if you could see the comparison there, it's, it's, it's unreal. She looks better than a pastel butter, pastel lesser. This is just the lesser het genetic stripe, but she's so blushed out. She's so vibrant in coloration. That's what the gene does, in my opinion, in the heterozygous form. Not only that, you can start seeing some of the striping going along the spine. Now these aren't telltale signs, but for the most part, I'm looking at this animal and I'm saying, wow, I can definitely see that gene at play. Unfortunately, you can't see it on the lesser, but just where the pied has tracking, sometimes you get some belly tracking as well. So while lesser blanks out the belly entirely, you would find tracking right along in here, kind of like you would see a pie down in here. It starts getting get your black tracks right in here. Now, as, as I was saying, you can't see it on the lesser's white belly. Um, I'm going to try to show you one from a pastel that we have produced this year. Pastel 100% head genetic stripe male. I'm going to try to show you the, tra the tracking on him. So, down there towards the end of the tail, you get the tracking going on here, but it's usually right down in here is where you see it. I see it on a lot of the heads that I look at at shows, and, you know, just kind of like putting myself to the test when I look at, for that stuff. So, you know how well I do now? This is... A, I don't have any pastels in my collection this size that I can compare them to, so I didn't even try. But as you can see, he's got the, the long, stripy look to his spine. It's kind of contained, meaning it doesn't drape over like this guy's does. This isn't the father, but you can see what I'm getting at with... It stays on the dorsal, right on the spinal column. He doesn't want to sit still. Also, the head really blushed out. Let's see if I can help you out there, Troy. And overall just like a lighter colored snake. This is a this is a pretty light looking pastel. And like I said, I got nothing sizable to compare them to. It's one of the tragedies of having a small collection. Um, I also want to show you another one. Now this is all from that hornet clutch that I had. I got lucky and I hit a hornet. This guy right here, more again, stripiness going on. Now I know spiders are very variable, but I mean look at that thing's head too. There's just something that's screaming to me about this animal, there's something else going on. So when you guys are at the shows and you, you see animals on the table, 50% pos het, and you're saying, wow, that, that thing looks pretty sweet, looks pretty wicked. Take a chance. Pick it up. You never know. You might actually hit the gene. 
you know? That's 100% heterogenetic stripe, and I'm looking at it, and I'm saying that is a gorgeous spider. Now, his sibling didn't look anything like him. It was 100% heterogenetic stripe, no back striping, very, go uh, very orangey in coloration. It was amazing, the, the variation I saw, but like I said, not all animals are going to show it, but some that do, you know, this is a good indication. Man, there might be something else going on here. So, I'm just going by, you know, what I've been seeing over the years. Um, I, I go over and pay attention to a lot of the, uh, a lot of the animals I see with genetic stripe. And, you know, Fred Kick's got an amazing, amazing collection of genetic stripes. So I just go over and look at his stuff, and I can usually see some of the traits. Now, this is the Hornet, this is the Motley Bee, this is the Spider Pastel Genetic Stripe, this is just the Spider Genetic Stripe. Uh, we make it our goal here to try to get as clean looking genetic stripes as possible. Um, straight dorsal stripe, not broken up. Both of these have that. Um, I also want the entire black side stripes to be on there, which is what we're striving for. This one's a little broken up. Um, the Hornet actually is a lot better looking. She's only got a few breaks near the tail. Just right down in here. Um, but I mean, that's a very, I, I mean, a bumblebee, and I'll show you the father of this animal right now, or these two right here. A bumblebee coming out that color, I don't, I've never seen it. Unfortunately, like I said, I don't have a big enough collection to compare them to you for. Was that English? He's going into shed, and you can see the, the colors he's keeping. He's keeping his colors. He's very light. He almost looks like he's somewhat vanilla. When I picked him up, I, I, I compared him to three other bumblebees that I saw at the show, all smaller than him, and he was a lot lighter and a lot brighter than they were. So this guy, 100% had genetic stripe, like I was saying, and father of these two. The genetic stripe does something. I believe all recessive genes do something. Now everybody thinks the het. This is the this is the debated part here. Everybody thinks the het form is unnoticeable. You have to have the homozygous, meaning you have to have both genes or the visible to see the genetic stripe, um, to see the clown, to see the the hypo, to see the uh, xanthic, uh, albino, you name it. That's recessive. That's what they believe. But the more I look at these animals and the more I look at hets, the more I could say. Wow, something goes on with the hets. Um, so there's other, there's one other animal I want to show you. Let me go get him right now. All right, guys. So this is what I wanted to show you. This is kind of the clincher to my argument. There's Reggie. She's a normal. Here's a little guy. He's a normal. Just to give you a little generational there. Okay. I know there's a variation within the normals, but look at this. Do you think that's a normal? If I saw this in a wild caught uh, grouping, I'm buying it. I'm buying that out of a wild caught. Look at the blushing on the head. Look at the, the tracking on the belly. Look at the blushing on the spine. All right. Look at the overall light coloration compared to that, compared to a normal. Like I said, this is head for genetic stripe, head for orange ghost. And if it was recessive, you know, not visible unless there's two of the same gene and the same animal, then I'd be looking at something that looked like a normal. But looking at this, and granted, I know there's variation. I've got all this extreme blushing, all this extreme color. I, I have to say there's something else to play. I have to say that genetic stripe is influencing and the ghost is also influencing the look while they're in the head forms. So for those of you out there that like to play the odds, this is kind of just a video to encourage you. See a 50% head, go for it. 
All right, guys. I would love to show you all the genetic stripe stuff, but I've got guys. I've got all the stuff up there breeding right now. Um, so for right now, we're just gonna have to call it quits. So that.